Karim Jomboy Morodov has been suffering from lack of water supply to his apricot orchard for about 10 years. Moreover, drying out of his orchard, the crops he has cultivated this year are going to be very poor. Lands of Karim John, which are located in Sanjitsor settlement of Kanibadam town, are turning into desert in the past years. We have been suffering from lack of water for about 10-15 years. Nobody can grow good crops in the settlement. There is no belief that water will be provided. Pumps are unable to pump out enough water to cover our demand. About 70% of farmers in Tajikistan are familiar with those problems of Karim John by Murodov that mostly deal with lack of irrigation water and capacity of pumping stations for providing it. Worn out of existing pumping stations, high cost for electricity consumed for pumping out water and insufficient water supply to the lands located downstream. To crown it all, the area of stony and salty soil lands is very broadly spread inside of our region, especially in such districts as Zafarabad, Ash, Matcha, Kanibadam, Isfara and Bobojongafurov. Efficient usage of such lands demands additional care and more input of irrigation water. Problems related to irrigation water are countless. Introduction of new and modern technologies is considered to be a kind of a way out, where installation of drip irrigation systems is one of them. The resident, whose name is Sukhrop Kodir, has managed to completely solve the problem dealing with lack of irrigation water through installation of a drip irrigation system. His orchard's experience, as well as sufficient supply of water and mineral fertilizers, is less costly for him today. Water is a very big problem for us. Due to lack of water, we have only four hours of its supply once in two days in our household. To all of this, water pressure in the pipe is very low. I have created an orchard with 40 apricot trees, and it is impossible to cover demand in water for it. I heard that Nixigol Mushovir supports projects on installation of drip irrigation systems, so I applied to this organization. With their support, I have installed a drip irrigation system on my piece of land. It's already two years since I have got rid of the problem related to irrigation water completely. The activity of the public organization Nexigol Mushovir related to the assistance in installation of drip irrigation systems has become the reason for attracting most farmers' attention due to its effective use even on stony waterless lands. This organization has been implementing the micro-irrigation technologies project in Sukht region since 2014, purpose of which is to reduce poverty among the rural population through sufficient access to water resources, to raise crop capacity and assist in efficient usage of irrigation water. The project is supported by such international organizations as Helvata Swiss Intercooperation and IDE, where three local entrepreneurs, Umet Sharipov, Abduhamid Hoshimov and Hassan Abduholikov, provide their services. These entrepreneurs are providing their services for application of a drip irrigation method within the region. The result of installation of a drip irrigation system saves both water and electricity seven times. For example, a pumping station that is able to cover demand in water on 20 hectares of land in a traditional way can increase the coverage of water supply and reach about 147 hectares of land if a drip irrigation system is installed. When using drip irrigation only, a root area of a tree will be provided with water. Also, through installation of a drip irrigation system, it is possible to reduce the cases of fungus diseases. Drip irrigation method is a kind of an irrigation method that allows watering a root area of a plant only and is a necessary measure for saving water. It is good to use it within climate conditions of Tajikistan, especially for growing vegetables in greenhouses and development of orchards on rain-fed lands. A young entrepreneur, Umet Sharipov, is a specialist who is among the first to start introducing drip irrigation systems in the region. Umet Sharipov possesses knowledge and experience about efficient usage of water, which he has gained abroad while visiting Israel and Germany. For about six years, as a part of his main activity, he has been providing services for introduction of drip irrigation technologies in different climate conditions of Sukhto region. He has become a skilled specialist in this field. So, we are at the water distribution site. Here you can see a water source, a water meter, a filter, a dozer of mineral fertilizer, taps for opening water and a tap for water distribution to every separate plot of the land. A dozer helps us to measure quantity of applied mineral fertilizers into a water distribution system that is delivered to every plant equally through a drip irrigation net. A filter plays a very important role in a drip irrigation system. It will serve the system through the years if it is properly used.
In order to make a drip irrigation system familiar to farmers and practically display them its operation advantage, the public organization Nexigo Mushovir, in the framework of its project in cooperation with the local entrepreneurs, has established demonstration fields in such districts as Asht, Bobojonga, Furov, Ganchi and Disfara. More than 200 farmers have visited these demo fields and got acquainted with the results drip irrigation system application. Gafurjon Ismailov established his own family farm seven years ago. One part of his land was allocated for the establishment of apricot orchard, another part for vineyard. The process of irrigation of his land was a kind of a severe experience before. We were about to destroy our vineyard and to use alternative crops due to water supply problems. We started to look for information in the newspapers. A friend of mine told me that there is an organization which is called Nexigo Mushovir. So we started looking for it. And when we contacted Akram John, who is an agronomist, he has recommended us to meet John. We have finally found him and he has suggested and convinced us that drip irrigation system introduction would bring us good results. Last year we installed a drip irrigation system on one hectare of our land. The result is positive. We have seen it. One of the advantages is that we do not need a tractor during a vegetation period for trenching channels and ditches. It's over now. It's possible to mention the fact that the volume of input of mineral fertilizers has reduced up to 60-70%. Before, when we planted seedlings or grapes, we were not lucky because many of them died. This year we have planted new seedlings and thanks to a drip irrigation system, the result is different. More implanted seedlings of grapes are alive. With the purpose to find support on introduction of modern and advanced technologies related to sufficient usage of water in the agricultural sector, local banks and crediting organizations of our country try also to make their valuable contribution and provide credits with lower interest rates. One of such organizations is Eshata Bank. The main purpose of the project is to improve livelihood of people as well as their knowledge and capacity. More than 20 workshops and trainings for the heads of Deccan farms to meet their demands were conducted since the beginning of 2014, where the main topic was introduction of drip irrigation system. If we achieve effective usage of any piece of free land and manage to get good crop, which is not costly due to less input supplies, it means that we will reach our goal. We have been successfully cooperating with our main partner, the public organization Nexigol Mushovir, for already second year in this direction. Today the total area of irrigated lands in the Republic of Tajikistan is more than 720,000 hectares, where 500,000 hectares out of the total area is being irrigated artificially. Moreover, farmers with the purpose to produce agricultural crops cultivate lands that are located on mountain slopes and at the bottom of it. Annually, the administration of Sukht region, in order to provide food security in the country, undertakes actions for development of hundreds of hectares of new lands by means of construction and giving into operation new pumping stations and creation of necessary infrastructure. On Upon the initiative of His Excellency, the President of our country, Mr. Imamali Rahmon, initiative of the Chairman of Sukht region in terms of new lands development, we have initiated introduction of water-saving technologies such as drip irrigation. And currently, hundreds of hectares of new lands in Samgar Massive are being developed. Pumping stations have been already constructed for meeting demand for irrigation water supply on lands that are being developed and capacity of which matches the requirements on prospective drip irrigation systems installation. With the purpose to achieve our goals, we cooperate with our international development partners. One of them is Helvetus Organization, which is working with us in terms of project elaboration. Introduction of the technologies and modern scientifically proved methods in the agricultural sector is being regularly mentioned by Mr. Abdurrahman Kodiri, the chairman of Sukht region, during his meetings with the farmers. Introduction of drip irrigation technologies would facilitate the support of food security initiatives of the country, which is considered to be one of the key and important objectives. The public organization Nexigol Mushovir, within the framework of implementation of its project on micro-irrigation technologies, aims at the improvement of stakeholders' technical capacity. With the support of the project, the process of introduction of drip irrigation methods is being successfully implemented in the region.